Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac Repentance. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. Let's do a... Let's do a greed mode run of some sort. Have we done E? We have not done Eden Greed. Let's do Eden Greed. Alright, so we start with Scooper. The, the Scoop. And Bar of Soap, which is a Tears upgrade and a Shot Speed upgrade. Shop has... Trash? Uh, there's literally nothing good in there. The good news is we'll be able to use our Space Bar item multiple times per... Uh, you know, we'll, we'll be able to use it basically on every wave. Now, if it actually hits enemies, it will do a lot of damage to them, but... Um, I'm not expecting it to do too much for us here, because it just kind of bounces around the room. And since it's a big room... I mean, then again, it just completely destroyed a bunch of those guys in one go, so maybe it'll be okay? I don't know. Again, I'm not super, uh... Ooh, that was just bad. Oh, also, I just realized we started with Black Lotus. So we have tons of HP. Our damage is pretty bad. But... All in all, it could be, you know, we're, we're doing okay. We got a good rate of fire thanks to the bar of soap. We got an okay space bar item. And we got lots of HP, which is great. So, all in all, I think the run is okay. And these eyeballs bouncing around the room are doing good stuff for us. Let's uh, get another eyeball bouncing around the room. Look at the damage they did to that boss. I mean, it's not super consistent because it has to hit the boss, but when you got five of them bouncing around the room at once, it's doing some good things for you. And we'll go ahead and fight these bosses right away as well. They just completely destroyed Larry Jr. <laughs> okay, you know what? I don't think the scoop is great in regular uh, Isaac, but in greed mode... It's pretty okay. Um, on the other hand, being able to repeatedly get a damage upgrade, which... So here's the thing. Book of Belial did not used to stack. You could use it once per room and that was it. But now it stacks, and you can use it multiple times per room, and this just seems much better overall than the eyeball scoop thing. Um, I think we skipped the cursed room... No, you know what? Let's check the cursed room. I regret my decision. Okay, we definitely want to get a key, though. And check the item room. And then we'll head down to the next floor, because we don't really care about any of the rest of this stuff. Okay, we get another tiers upgrade. That's good. More rate of fire. Always a good thing. Okay, down to the next floor we go. We'll see what we have to work with. Uh, let's just go buy a key right away. Three cent keys. Okay, so we're going to want to stock up on keys on this floor. That's for sure. We get Obsessed Fan, which just kind of follows you around on a delay and deals damage to any enemies you touch. Not a great item, in my opinion. Uh, let's see. So we're on... I need to think. We're on the caves. So we've got... Depths. Then we have Shoal. No. Depths, womb, shoal, chest. Chest does not have... Depths, womb, shoal. Yeah, so we need three keys to be able to get into every item room. You might as well get them now on sale. That's what I'm thinking. And then I think we'll probably want to buy uh, blue cap here. So let's pop Book of Belial. Give us some nice damage. And then we'll basically just pop it a few more times until we have very good damage. Because I see... Yes. Okay, so the next... The further uses of it seem to give less of an increase. Like, it's a, a bit of a diminishing return situation, which I did not know. But it does still give you damage. So by the end of the floor, we should be up to, like, a whole lot. 
Up to eight damage now? Yeah, it gives you less damage every time. Okay, that's not quite as good as I thought it was gonna be, but it's, it's still, like, pretty okay. All right, we got mini pins. Kind of an annoying batch of enemies, but, like, that's fine. Do that. Pop Book of Belial once more. And we'll make it... We'll, we'll need uh, one more... We'll, we'll need to do, like, one wave at the start of the next floor to have a full Book of Belial charge, but... All in all, we're okay. We're at 8.83 damage by the end of the floor, which is not great, but it's not terrible. It's very good for, like, this early in a run, I guess you would say. Okay, we got more monstros. It's the same wave twice. That's actually fine. Try to focus... Uh, yeah, I was like, I'm probably going to get hit in that little batch of... You want to focus down one if you can. You know, I had someone ask, uh, or a couple people ask, like, hey, I've seen you play an Isaac, and like... I started playing it myself, and I'm so bad. What, what tips can you give me? And really, like, the number one tip is to focus on dodging. And then understand that, like, a lot of Isaac is just muscle memory. So having, uh, you know... Oof. And it will take a large amount of time to develop that muscle memory. So, like, don't get discouraged. Because you will lose a lot. I mean, I mean, you just look at this series. Even I lose a lot. And I have literally over a thousand hours in Isaac over the years. Uh, Head of Krampus is fine, but I want to stick with Book of Belial, I think. Probably going to be more useful in the long term, considering it's actually useful against the boss. Uh, we'll take Blue, uh, blue Cap. It's another rate of fire increase. Um, and then I think we're just out. Yeah. We'll just head down to the next floor. We definitely need damage in a pretty bad way. It's the only thing we're really missing. Like, HP is fine. Obviously, we want to have more HP than we do now when we go to fight Greed, but um, it, our HP is fine. For the time being, at least. Okay, Hot Bombs is, like, pretty whatever, but at least it will allow us to blow stuff up. That we, if we want to, you know, some of this kind of stuff, for example. Again, we have uh, no damage. I mean, we're basically hoping that we get a deal that gives us damage. Or, I mean, I, I don't think it's worth it to play the machine. The odds of getting something actually useful and the amount of time it takes to play the machine, like, you're better off just buying something here. Um, present is interesting, but not worth 15 cents. I will buy Squeezy. It's not a tiers upgrade. Uh, we're at the tier cap. Okay, well, that's fine. At least it gave us two spirit hearts. And then if we get a tiers downgrade from something, it will offset it a bit. So it's okay. I, I mean... 15 cents for two spirit hearts and a tears upgrade that didn't actually do anything, kind of whatever, but at the same time, could be much worse. We got to make sure we're still using Book of Belial because we need to get that damage stacked up. Otherwise, we're going to really struggle once we get into the later bosses and stuff on this floor. Which also means that we basically have to do the floor all at once so that we can get all of the Book of Belial charges. Or all of the damage upgrades. Yeah, this is bad. I was like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm definitely getting hit there. No doubt about it. I see no way that I survive. This is also bad. Okay. Alright, there we go. Fight the bosses. Very carefully try to dodge the shots. That's what I'm talking about, like, focus on dodging. Like, just keep your your fire button held down and just focus on dodging the shots that are coming at you. That'll help tremendously. 
and learning enemy patterns, which obviously will just take lots and lots and lots of time. But eventually you'll get the hang of it. You know, losing a lot and dying a lot is part of the Isaac experience. And it makes your actual wins that much sweeter. Uh, I don't think I'm actually going to use... Oh, I shouldn't have stood there. I'm trying to kill these guys and, like, focus down one dude at a time. There we go. That didn't go particularly well, but we made it. What do we got in here? Still no damage. Uh, I think Gimpy's worth taking, though. Just for, um, you know, stuff. All right. We're going to head down to the next floor. We are badly in need of damage. Like, real bad. We're halfway through the run and haven't gotten a damage upgrade yet. That's not good. And we have Curse of the Blind, so we have no idea what's going to happen here. Pinking Shears is uh, pretty sweet. There's a damage upgrade, finally. Uh, I think we'll actually use Pinking Shears on this part of the floor. Seven cent items? Buddy in a box? Mom's purse? Pay to play. Wow. Just all... Hmm. Black Candle's good. Fanny Pack is okay. D6, though. And there's a champion belt here for 7 cents. And the Halo is also a damage upgrade. And you know what? I will spend a bomb to see what's in the golden chest. And the answer is nothing of any use whatsoever. But I will take this. And then there's a Tinted Rock right here. And our secret room is not doing us any favor. Or let's check the cursed room as well. Okay, cursed eye I definitely don't want. Um, we can re-roll some stuff. Although, do we even want to? I don't think we want to re-roll any of this. I think we want to just get our money going and, and do our thing. So we'll switch back to Book of Belial here. And basically try to kill the enemies the normal way. Very, very carefully. Like, our damage still isn't great, but once we get uh, pinking shears, not pinking shears, once we get um, the halo and champion belt, like, it'll be good enough, I think. Not as high as I would like it to be, but we'll hold on to Book of Belial. I'm, yeah, I didn't realize there was a little pit there. I got stuck on it. I mean, we'll be at roughly 10 damage or so once all is said and done. For fighting greed, which should be high enough, I think. And then we're just going to need some HP. I mean, our rate of fire is awesome, so that's not a problem at least. It's just the the amount of these little nubs. They're everywhere. All right. But we do need to fight the bosses right away. Because we got to make sure. I didn't realize that this could be a boss on this floor, by the way. Burn him down quick. Okay, there we go. And then just try to clear out the little guys as quickly as we can. We do have enough money to buy both the Halo and Champion Belt, and we will want to. The Halo is not an incredible damage upgrade, but it is also an HP upgrade, which has some value in and of itself, because it's just more HP. Plus, we'll have a deal here in a minute. Don't get hit by that. All right, there we go. And now we fight Double Monstro, or Double Monstro 2. This is not the fight we want, honestly. Oh, we gotta be so careful here. Our HP is looking real sketchy. Like, this isn't a super hard enemy or anything like that. He's just, 
he can be very annoying. If we can get rid of one, we'll be okay. Oh, I got brimstoned. It's fine. We definitely got to get rid of one of them, though. I'm not sure which one is the the one with lower HP. Unfortunately, I kind of that's the downside to fighting both of them at once is that you kind of you can lose track pretty easily. We have one HP, by the way. That's not great. That also means that we can't actually take anything in the deal unless it gives us uh, HP in there. Or unless we find... Uh, unless it's an item that would give us HP back, which is none of these items. So, pity. We could have had Guppy if we had gotten uh, Guppy's collar and also Guppy's... Uh, the, then, then there were two Guppy items in there. We do have the D20, which allows you to break the game. Oh, that's so tempting, but I don't, like, oh. Nah. It's just, ugh. it's tempting, but we don't need it. We'll, we'll be fine. So now we're just basically praying that one of these rooms has, uh. Okay, HP is good. We're basically praying that we can buy spirit hearts in one of these shops. Uh, I do have a couple familiars, so it's probably worth it to do Buddy in a Box. We'll spend a bomb here, and then I'll spend a bomb here. Okay, we got bombs and keys. None of that's great. Uh, you are getting destroyed. I will just blow you up. Okay, the Tinted Rock is very appreciated. I'll buy BFFs since we have a couple of familiars. There's some, some potential there. Uh, but then I don't think I want anything else on this floor. Let's just start fighting enemies. Also, um, Multidimensional Baby can potentially do some really good work for us here. Oh, what happened? Something, something broke away and hit me. I don't like it. I also don't like enemies that I can't see. Those are not good. Careful, brimstony ghosts. Also, where did I get a cube of meat? Oh, one of the item rooms had it. That's right. I remember. Okay. Thank you, Gimpy. We'll probably blow up these fires, honestly. Just because we have tons of bombs. And not a whole lot of floor left. And the chance of maybe getting some HP from them is, like, fairly okay. I seem to remember hearing that purple fires have a higher chance. I don't know if that's actually true or not. I know that in hard mode, although greed mode I don't think is considered hard mode. I think greed mode is considered easy mode. So those fires should have like a 25% chance to drop a spirit heart. But they're all gone now anyway. I'm going to actually use Book of Lyle here. We do need to make absolutely certain that we have a Book of Lyle charge available for the start of, uh, or for the greed mode fight itself. Because it's a significant amount of damage. Like, it's, I think, three plus three damage, roughly, for using the book for the first one. After that, it's, you know, not as useful, but... Get rid of Carrion Queen here. And these familiars are doing some things. Okay, there we go. And this I hate. This is two enemies that are both just a nightmare. We want to take this one out first because he has the potential to do a lot more nasty things. There we go. We made it through. What do we got? Okay. So this is Bloody Lust. Whenever we take damage, we get a damage upgrade. 
but I don't think that's going to be worth two hearts. And this is you go down to half a heart at the start of the floor, but get a nice damage upgrade for everything you lose. Again, I. Then again, with Gimpy. Nah, but I don't even have that many red hearts. I think we're fine. I mean, there's an argument to be made that Blood Oath was worth taking, for sure. Um, I will pay a couple of things here. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to pay any more. It was worth checking. I just wanted to see if maybe we'd get something useful. We didn't, but I'm still glad we checked. All right, what do we got in here? Okay, so there's a spirit heart here. We'll check for a secret room at the same time. We definitely want that. There is a reroll machine. But like our goal is also to be able to donate money. Can we beat the, I think we might be able to greet, beat greed just like this. Like it's gonna be close, but also the cursed rooms on this run have been just horrible. <laughs> Like, they've been real bad. All right, give me the Book of Belial charge. Give me that damage. So I think what we're going to do, unless we get in a... Uh, like, unless we lose a ton of HP on this floor, which is possible. I think what we're going to do is basically clear the waves, skip the deal... And just make it try to fight greed with what we got and hope that we come out on top. Because then I'll be able to donate like a pretty significant amount to the greed machine. And that's kind of the whole reason we're doing greed mode is because there's character uh, item unlocks that are tied to doing that. Like Holy Mantle on the Lost and the, the Razor on uh, Eve and like there's a lot of stuff that we need. The first significant one is going to be Eve, uh, Eve's razor blade, which is super important. Uh, I'm going to use this here as well. And I just real, oh no, we'll, we'll be okay. We'll be okay. We'll fight this. We'll fight two bosses and then the, the room right before greed will give us our full Book of Belial charge. So no more using Book of Belial on this floor. Okay, you're dead. I mean, we also have Gimpy, so that's like a lot of extra hearts that will end up on the ground. You can see, sometimes when these enemies die, they become half red hearts. Which is why there was some, uh, some merit to taking Blood Oath, because we'd be able to get all the HP that we would lose back. But I think we're better off just having a little bit more of a buffer. All right, we got a frail in here as well. Oh, he's so fast. Okay, there we go. We're not going to fight the boss. Um, I will give this one reroll. I will give this two rerolls. We're just going to go for it. Okay, secret room, please give me HP of any kind. That will work. Okay, let's go fight greed. I think we can do this. I think we'll be all right. We need to not use Book of Belial in this room. That's very important. Oh, that was so bad. Which means our overall damage is like pretty terrible considering this is the last floor of the, the last floor of the run, but Okay, let's stop giving away money. Also, we got bombs, so we can bomb these uh, greed, these shopkeeper statues and get potentially like 15 cents or more, which is pretty sweet. We ended up losing a lot more money here than I was wanting to, but we're also going to get some money. Okay, so put one bomb here. And one bomb here. That should bomb everything. Wow. We got kind of cheated there. <laughs> normally the ones with nickels for eyes give you uh, a decent amount. They normally give you like five cents, but no. Not today. It's all right. We just got to beat one boss. And it's not ultra greed. Ultra greed is way harder. 
his last phase is just like so much spammy explosive nonsense that it's like a little ridiculous. We're getting hit a lot, but Gimpy should keep us alive. Gimpy is like a top tier pickup in greed mode, honestly. If you can get the HP to make it like it, well, it doesn't do you any good if you have no, well, even then, even if you're only running on spirit hearts, you have a chance to get spirit hearts whenever you get hit. So like, can you not do the key attack? Like, how am I supposed to dodge all these boys? There's too many. The key attack is just like, I mean, the good news is that these guys can all turn into red hearts, which will help keep me alive. But like, look at this. It's the only attack he knows. He knows the key attack. He's like, I can do keys. I'm like, Greed, I know you can do keys. Can you do anything besides keys? <laughs> like, my dude. And you can't really hit him while he's doing it. All right, there we go. Now he's doing the bomb attack. That's not nearly as annoying. Yo, head of the keeper. That means all my shots have a, ta a chance now to spit out pennies. Which means for the remainder of this fight, we could potentially get like a decent amount of money to just drop on the ground. Okay, this is not where I want to stand. Yep. Pick up steam sale as well, cause like, why not? Now the downside is whenever you get hit in greed mode, I think you lose a little bit of money. Or at least whenever greed himself hits you. Yep. Stop. So, I don't know how much we're going to be able to donate, but I guess we'll find out. That was like a very be careful moment. You, you, you dropped the coin on my face. That's just rude. Our damage is so bad. <laughs> Actually, it's, it, it's not even that bad. It just feels that bad because he's got... Uh, ridiculous amounts of HP. All right, we're doing the key attack again. Because we decided that was necessary. It's fine. Dude, he's got more keys on the floor. What am I supposed to do against all these keys? I mean, I'm basically just running into him at this point with Cube of Meat. And letting Cube of Meat do stuff. BFF Cube of Meat is doing things. Also, I can't help but notice that, like, none of those dudes dropped red hearts for Gimpy, which is not good for me. And now he's healing. I would very much prefer if you did not heal. Yo, stop. What am I? I'm, like, stuck on the thing. We might actually lose this. We're probably going to lose this. If I get hit again, I die. Unless uh, someone drops a red heart real, like, real fast from Gimpy. Gimpy, I need you to come through for me. This is not what I had in mind. All right, we'll just fight all the enemies. Just so many key enemies. Yeah, we're going to die. Dude, that did not go well. <laughs> that was the longest greed fight of my life. Uh, anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.